Well, Apple just unveiled its new iPhone 7, but already some people are unhappy with a big change coming to the new phone. Consumer reporter John Mattery shows us why it's so controversial, but first, what it's going to cost to ride the streetcar. John? Tanya, Cincinnati streetcar, the Cincinnati Bell Connector, opens Friday, and all weekend long we'll offer free tickets to anyone who shows up. That's for me. But come Monday, the free ride is over. Customers will need to have a ticket to board. One that's purchased from a vending machine along the streetcar route. So, how much will you have to pay? Not much. It's one dollar for two hours of riding, or two dollars for all day riding that lets you get on and off as much as you want. It's also free for children under 35 inches tall and free with a Metro 30 day pass. Yesterday, we reported that ITT Tech, a major for profit college, shut down all its campuses across the country, including one locally in Norwood. Well, tonight, the U.S. Department of Education is offering some hope for its students. If you contact the department, they will give you information about how you may be able to have your federal loans to ITT forgiven. However, neither the school or government is offering refunds of cash payments for tuition. Apple today made it official, taking the wraps off the new iPhone 7. But are tri staters still excited about new iPhones? And what about the popular feature that Apple is now removing from the phone? Tim Cook's unveiling of the new iPhone 7 could not have come at a better time for tri staters like Ashley Kimberly, whose old iPhone 5 has a cracked screen. I'm really excited. I need one, obviously. So. <laughs> Others, though, say they're no longer excited anymore by the release of a new iPhone. You're not going to rush out and buy one? No, not at all. I got a new baby. Got money uh, elsewhere. Uh, no, I'm pretty content with what I have already. Normally, all the buzz about a new iPhone concerns what Apple has added. This year, though, it's mostly about what Apple has taken away. The most noticeable change, Apple's removing the headphone jack to save space and make the phone more water resistant. That's not going over so well with some music lovers, like this mom with a teenage daughter. Oh no, I can't do it then. She's a teenager. You need the headphone jack? Absolutely she needs a headphone jack. Yeah, what do you think of that? No headphone jack anymore. Hmm. I don't know then. That's questionable. Not to worry, though, Apple says the phones will now come with an adapter to plug your current headphones into the phone's lightning jack, and you'll be able to buy wireless Bluetooth earbuds. Other improvements will include longer battery life and a better camera. Want an iPhone 7? They go on sale next Friday, September 16th for $650. Sorry, no price break for the missing headphone jack. Yeah, it could have cut $5 off it, whatever. Finally, it's you and Wednesday, our weekly freebie segment. This week, how about some free soft drinks at Chipotle for students in September at Frisch's. This weekend is Grandparents' Day, and there's going to be free fudge cake for grandparents. Also, you've heard about on Not In Your Side, free shredding Saturday, sponsored by Crime Stoppers, Not In Your Side at local furniture fair stores. Finally, read my report on a problem afflicting many iPhone 6s right now, a problem so bad. They're calling it iPhone disease. Read about it on WCPR.com so you don't waste your money.